Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. The Happy Mondays, a band that was synonymous with the Hacienda nightclub and symbolic of Manchester's drug scene that emerged in the death of the coal mining industry in the north part of England in the 80s. This is a massive economical boost from nightlife entertainment and nightclubs popped up all over the city generating lots of money that was much needed at the time. And one of the bands that came out to have great success was the Happy Mondays. There was a rock and roll band that focused around having a good time and partying. And this week it has emerged that their former tour manager has been held in a prison in Turkey after police seized £80 million street value worth of cocaine. Anthony Muzza Murray, 52 years old, is among 15 suspects who was arrested after 228 kilograms of Class A drugs were seized on board a ship from Colombia. It was being concealed in 3,500 bags of fertilizer, with Murray being reportedly in charge of the shipment along with two other local men. It has now emerged that he was the tour manager and part of the Manchester scene in the 1990s and is a good friend with Happy Monday's frontman, Sean Ryder. Murray was previously jailed for three years, over 29 kilograms of cannabis in 2014 and was arrested at a port in Istanbul last week. He remains in a notorious Turkish prison. This is said to have been part of a very intricate investigation and a massive amount of coke, all very pure and from South America. The plan was to buy it in wholesale and sneak it into the back of the UK to sell it on. Turkish police acted on a tip-off after they found the vessel on September the 30th, 2020. The Happy Mondays band that he was the tour manager for were famed for their drug taking and it was part of their shows in the 1990s. The band would refer to their party lifestyles on their music albums that included Manchester Rave On and Pills and Frills and also Bellyache. In 2016, Murray's son, Joel, was jailed for five years after admitting he supplied Manchester's party set with drugs that included cocaine and ecstasy when he was just 17 years old. His daughter, named Poppy, was handed a suspended sentence after admitting her role in supplying cocaine also. So in a courtroom, this looked like a family business. Turkey has been clamping down on narcotics importation in the past few weeks. It has a new operation called Operation Swamp that has already arrested 67 people and targeted gang and international connections to Brazil and the Netherlands. The Turkish police said that his nickname was The Doctor and he was in charge of the shipment along with two local men. Security forces said that he was management level of the organisation and they also believed the gang was actually called the Happy Mondays after investigating Murray's past. And Sean Ryder, the frontman of this band, even said in an interview about the first time that they actually got ecstasy into the country they believed from Amsterdam when they smuggled it in Colgate toothpaste. In recent years, the frontman of the band and other members have spoke quite openly in an extract from their interview with Mix Magazine, they said we used to drive with 10,000 pills at Calais in a bottle of vitamins. No one really knew anything about ecstasy. The police were clueless. We didn't care anyway. A shipment of 15,000 pills was smuggled from the UK to Amsterdam by people that were close to the Happy Mondays in 1987. And this fueled a rise in Acid House in the north of the UK. According to someone familiar with the band and the deal, these friends of the Happy Mondays began to sell their drugs near the speakers in the Hacienda nightclub, known as the E-Corner. In extracts taken from Ryder's autobiography, he says that in the summer of 1987, things really changed. That's when life suddenly went from black and white to technicolor. I had my first E. It was Bez who gave me my first one, predictably. He said to try one of these, they're bloody mega. And we were rehearsing at the boardwalk. And it blew me away. It made me feel euphoric. It was pretty obvious why it was called ecstasy. But it also felt very clean and also fresh. So much so that it made me want to go home and have a shower and change my clothes. Like I said before, me and Bez were garbage heads. We had almost every type of drug from acid to crack and whatever else was lying around. But the E was a totally different buzz. The first E I got were little white ones. They didn't have a stamp on them or anything like that. Just a line across them. And originally they came from Amsterdam. He said that the first E came from a French guy in a gay club over in Amsterdam.
and he used to get a lot of weed from him when they went over there and one night he gave his pal a pill to try he was knocked off his feet and he brought it back a few times to Manchester in a tube of tough paste I'm pretty sure those were the first E's to arrive in Manchester one tube of Colgate changed everything so there has been various accusations and stories surrounding the group over the years and this is just another one to add to the list they made headlines for beating up bouncers and drug binges that went on for days. Sean even said in an interview that he'd actually killed 3,000 pigeons in his hometown of Salford when he was a young kid. And we also featured the Hacienda and that era in the Paul Massey story that we did where we documented his involvement in that scene at the time. They was also friends with Howard Marks, a notorious drug importer, and they were seen in Brazil celebrating with train robber Ronnie Biggs. So I thought this was a really interesting story and I really want to hear what people have to say on this. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Follow us on social media as well at Scar City Studios and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.